Good afternoon, more Medic One. Uh, today, I just kind of want to show you uh, the effects of ethanol in the fuel that we have today. You pay a premium for it, and it's crap. It's just ruining all my carburetors that I repair. Uh, three months down the road, it comes back. This is one that I did about three months ago, and basically, let me tear it down and let you. I'm going to show you what this ethanol is doing to these rubber parts in these carburetors. I took the metering uh, diaphragm side off of the, uh, the primer base and the metering diaphragm. I just want to show you something. I'm going to drop one of the screws. I just want to show you how banjo string tight this thing is. I mean it's just, I know you can't see that, but that diaphragm is just hard, hard, hard. It is so tight, I can't even I can't even depress it to open the needle in the carburetor. I went ahead and took the fuel pump side off of this carburetor, and if you can see that, that fuel pump diaphragm is wrinkled. Let's see if I can take it off one-handed here. It's no bueno. It's just as hard as a rock. And it's not the carburetor manufacturer's fault. This is a Zama carburetor. Uh, does the same thing on Walbera. Not as bad sometimes. Some of the Walbera carburetor kits or the carburetors actually have a uh, fuel or ethanol resistant material. But that diaphragm is just as hard as a rock. But anyway, tomorrow I'm going to uh, show you how to rebuild this carburetor. Uh, I don't have the kit in stock. I'll have to go get one. But anyway, if you have any questions about steel uh, trimmers or uh, carburetors in general, let me know. More Medic One, you'll have a good day.